Hi, it's Anna Jyoti from the School of Fine Tuning. I wanted to just talk to you about the sound therapy training that I've just had accredited. My dogs always bark, people walking past with other dogs. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about my sound therapy training. I've had a lot of interest already. So the sound therapy um, includes um, the theory and introduction to the energy medicine of sound and how sound is a therapeutic modality and how the frequencies and sound waves are matched and mirrored within the body. So we talk about the theory of, of energy medicine, sound, sound waves, sound current from toning. And then I introduce to you the gong and I show you a bit of gong and you get to play the gong. You get to play the crystal bowls and the Tibetan bowls. What this does allow you to do, because it is accredited by the IPHM, so it is an accredited course, that you can include this into... Who are they shouting at? Oh, the next door neighbour. Um, you can include this into your massage practice or your Reiki practice or your chakra healing or your meditation practice um, in your treatment rooms. That's what this is and what it's, what it's uh, accredited for. Um, it doesn't say whether you could be a, do a gong bath or not. I, I sort of you know, wrote the course and submitted the course and it's it's been accredited and approved. So it doesn't say that you can't do that. It's just for me teaching it, I don't feel that there's enough time to fully teach you how to play the gong so that you can do a gong bath. But if you've got a gong and you want to learn to play it, by all means, come along and I'll show you very, you know, very happily how to play and, and some really cool introductions. But I would always also invite you to go and do a longer course if you really want to do a gong practitioner training. Um, I trained with Meta Benton. Um, I did first of all, I did the gong practitioner training, which was two consecutive weekends in London. And then I did, did a gong therapy uh, another weekend, three days. So it's, um, you know, it's a bit of a longer course, but the good thing about the playing these instruments is it's deeply intuitive and it's really about how you feel when you're playing them. And I can certainly introduce and show you those. What you would be able to do is play some crystal bowls in your treatments, that's for sure, um, and uh, Tibetan bowls. So if anything, it's much more of a, a hands on um, teaching to take bowls into your practice. But because I've got a gong, it seems it seems. Um, uh, a, a more than appropriate time to get the gong out and show you because that's about the same principles and theory of um, sound and resonance therapy. So um, please do join me. Um, at the moment, I'm taking very small groups in, in my home venue at the school. Um, happily go to larger venues if there's, if there's more. Um, if there are more people, then um, I would probably need more bowls, but that's not a bad thing. Um, and so, yeah, I'm keeping them small at the moment so that uh, you get to have a good old play and you will feel confident afterwards going away to to uh, get some bowls um, or to get a gong and start playing. Um, so, yeah, it's really it's a really cool training. Uh, I loved teaching it yesterday. And um, if you want to come and sample one of my sound baths, then um, please do get in touch at the School of Fine Tuning and... Um, yeah, I can uh, guide you more and come and see and, and experience my sound baths. So lots of love. And uh, also I introduce like um, toning, like voice toning, um, something that Rudolf Steiner taught. Uh, so the and, and also with mantra and years of mantra of the sound current of the vowels that really elevate and soar your spirit. Um, I love toning, it's, it's quite a new practice for me. I've also been chanting for, for a very long time and experiment with different chants, be them um, Gurmukhi or um, the uh, Buddhist chanting, Nemi Horenge Kyo, I love chanting that. Um, but recently, like I said, I've been doing this toning, which is just so, so cool. I love it. I really love it. And we talk about the sound current, the internal sound vibration um, that really corrects and um, helps to move the cellular memory into the correct space. So, um, yeah. And then, then I've got tuning forks as well. I'll show you some tuning forks. 
and um, I'll show you. A little bit like, a, and I've got this, um, the Burmese temple bell. It's called a Kaizi bell. I've got that. And I've got these, I can't remember the name of it, but they're, they're, they're these little nuts that make a beautiful sound. And then I'm fully aware of the um, the chimes. Can't remember the name. You'll be telling me the name right now. But uh, what's the name of that chime? Come on, tell me. Um, so, yeah, you know, really, really nice eclectic mix of sound that uh you you will learn and uh do do your thing uh i love doing that i love sharing what i've learned i go on all the courses and uh, put together a manual and share it with you and then you can go and do it i realized recently actually with all my teachings this is fun is that i teach people and then they go and do it much better than I've ever taught them. So I love that. I really do love that. But um, I also teach, you know, the sound uh, healing when we do um, when we do the chakra balancing. We have a uh, time with crystals and essential oils, and we use the bowls. So if you're if you wanted to do my chakra balancing training, this is a perfect blend of doing chakra balancing and sound healing. I mean, you don't have to have A and P to do this. Um, you can you can access this um, without level three anatomy and physiology and you could create a really nice offering. So get in touch if you need more information. And I really look forward to welcoming you at the school with my shouty dogs. Lots of love.